This is the time of year that everyone, and I mean everyone, is trying to figure out how to get healthier. Uh, even I'm doing this. I've actually um, challenged myself to 30 days of fitness. Well, that's gonna be extended, but the idea is I want to make sure that I'm getting some sort of activity every single day this month. I'm gonna start month by month because I need to start small. Um, by the way, let me know if you wanna join me. But this is what so many of us are thinking about, right? How we're gonna get fit, how we're gonna get healthy, how we're going to shed excess pounds. And by the way, guys, by eating healthy and exercising, um, we're not just losing weight, if that's what your goal is, but you're also making sure that your heart is healthy, that your cholesterol is good, that you're lowering your risk for diabetes, heart disease, etc. So guys, this is a win, 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 win. Um, but I'm going to tell you the five best apps slash resources uh, for weight loss. These are things I actually suggest to my patients, um, my doctor colleagues suggest to their patients. This is actually what we suggest in our office. So the first app that I I suggest one I use myself is my fitness pal are you guys familiar with that um, it's an app that's been around for a little while it's called once again my fitness pal um, you can download it um, I think there are upgradable options I don't pay for it I just use the, the free version but the free version really has all that I need you can put in your calories that you're eating for the day the foods what your goals are things like that it helps you track what you're doing what you're putting in your mouth that is actually very very important I think one of the most important things we need to make sure we're doing um, when it comes to trying to get healthier is be, being cognizant of what we're actually putting in our mouth. Um, so my fitness pal is one that I absolutely love. Now, the second app I want to recommend has some very similar features. It's called the Lose It app. Lose It. Um, Lose It also has an upgradable feature where you can pay, but I have the free version. You can put in your calories, um, your goals, and things like that. And also, um, Lose It, as well as My Fitness Pal, they have other resources too, articles and suggestions and meal prep ideas and things like that. So pretty, pretty solid stuff there. So I would say the third app that I really love is one that you might or might not have actually known that you already have. Um, if you have an iPhone or an Apple device, there is the health app. That's an app that's like a, it's like a white square with a pink uh, heart on the inside. Actually, for I had an iPhone for years before I realized that this health app was on there and it was actually tracking what I was doing. Um, check that out. Kind of dig around your iPhone or your Apple device. See if you can find that app, the health app, which is the white square with the pink heart. Um, you'll find that it's likely been tracking what you've been doing. It's a great way to keep track of your steps and your activity and things of that nature, even without thinking about it. You don't have to have an Apple watch or anything fancy. Um, so check that out. That actually has been very helpful for me. Uh, the fourth app, one that I recommend to patients is Weight Watchers. Uh, the uh, Weight Watchers app is a really good resource for people. And Weight Watchers is a program that I recommend. Again, I'm not uh, sponsored by anybody. I'm, you know, I'm not paid to say this, but Weight Watchers is a program that I have for years recommended to my patients. In with the app, it tends to be very convenient. I have doctor colleagues and friends that use it and have done really, really well with weight loss on it. And the fifth suggestion um, is actually a nutritionist. It's not an app, but it's a person. Um, if you've never thought about going to a nutritionist, this actually might be the time to do it. Sometimes having a little extra guidance, having someone to actually talk through with us what we're doing right, what we could be doing better, what could we, we could be doing differently, can actually be very helpful. So talk to your doctor about being referred to a nutritionist. Guys, this is new year, new you, new year, new us. Guys, let me know what your favorite apps are. I wanna know, put them in the comments. Let me know what you suggest, what you like to use. Guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. I do daily health videos, so click the little bell to get updates. Guys, I will be back soon.